Hey, man. <laughs> well, it was just like vodka and Sprite. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> anyway. Y'all saw, saw the title. Trips camping. Guys, this is going to be real quick, fast, and a hurry, so you got to pay attention to this one. It's going to be really fast, and the ingredients are really simple. I'll show you that in a second. But before I do, I got to tell you about my oldest daughter. Now, she's going to be mad as hell <laughs> when she sees this video, because I told her I was going to put it on blast. She's like, oh, daddy, please, don't put me on blast. She's been messing with me all day, y'all. First of all, this morning, I go upstairs, I'm looking for something online, and she left her Facebook open. <laughs> so I did a daddy bomb. Kaboom! And everybody that's watching this that know her, y'all saw it already. I was like, she left her uh, her uh, Facebook open, and this is her daddy kaboom. Anyway, that was funny. Second thing that pissed me off, I'm at the store, Commissary, Fort Bragg, North Carolina, and I called her and said, baby, hmm, uh, how much white wine do we have in the house? And then instead of her going to check, she sent my daughter, my other daughter down, the next youngest, or the second oldest down. And she said, oh, you got a little bit of white wine. So I go and I buy this, pow, another bottle of white wine, which happens to be uh, Pinot Grigio, but I'm not even gonna use it for this recipe, but I bought a bottle of Pinot Grigio. Reason being, she said, you have a little bit, dude, they call this a little bit, of leftover white wine. You see how big this bottle is? This much? Now I'm gonna let you guys figure it out. If I poured all of this into here, wouldn't it fill the bottle up? Yes. She sent my daughter back like, <laughs> it's like baby. But she's like, oh, it was just a little bit in the bottle. You see this thing? It's big as the Northern Hemisphere. Anyway, so I'm pissed off about that. Not pissed off, I said I'm gonna put on blast about this. And the last thing, last thing she did, mm -hmm. after I bought groceries, she was helping take out the groceries and she pulled this out. And she said, standing right over there, she said, oh, daddy, you bought hash browns? And I was like, baby, does that can say hash browns? And then she says, no, it's hash, and you're gonna brown it. <laughs> <laughs> She couldn't just accept the fact that she boogered it up, almost cussed. She gonna try to cover it up and I called her on that, so she gonna be mad as hell when she sees this video. Anyway, guys, <laughs> stop laughing at my children. Anyway, I'm just playing. All right, guys, now let's talk about supporting cat. All right, this is very, very, very simple, guys. I'm doing uh, shrimp scampi. It's gonna be over fettuccine, over uh, pasta which is right here, guys. This is dry. I made this a couple of days back. It's been dry completely, kind of like in the store, but more tender. And this, I just pressed out not five minutes ago. All right, this is fresh, see? Mm -hmm. I just made this pasta out of sem sem uh, semolina, okay? Anybody that wants to learn how to make their own pasta, go back to my video where I made pasta, and then I'll lay it all out for you, all right, guys? Okay, now, olive oil. I'm gonna need some pure olive oil, okay? I'm going to need, and my daughter just walked in the door. Don't come in here. All right, garlic. Okay. I'm going to need some shrimp, obviously. All right. These are deveined, uncooked, still got the shells on them. Okay. I got some Chardonnay, white wine. All right. Not that Pinot Grigio that I didn't have to buy because my daughter gave me a falsehood. We already talked about that. All right. She said, leave me alone. <laughs> and then you might as well come on in here now so everybody can see you. I got some lemon, I'm gonna use lemon juice, okay? This is the one, that's the one, that's the one. Anyway, I need, some, I need some parsley right here, fresh parsley. Okay guys, I'm also gonna need some butter, all right? And this happens to be my pasta machine that I made fresh pasta out of. All right guys, that's a sporting cat. Now, like I always say, let me do my prep work, finish harassing my daughter, and uh, I'll be right back with you guys. This is the next step. You need guys need to watch carefully because this is gonna happen really fast because it takes that long for shrimp to cook. I'm not gonna kick this bad boy off. My oil is warm, not hot. I got like four uh, cloves of garlic in this bad boy. But I, I wanna sweat this so it'll flavor my oil. I don't wanna brown it, all right? Now, it's already, it was warm, but I turned the fire off and put it back on medium low. Get my garlic. Now, I should use more garlic for the amount of shrimp that I'm gonna use, but my wife don't like it really garlicky. I don't even know if that's a word. So I reduced the garlic a little bit. Anyway, garlic, olive oil, nice. Okay, I'm gonna let that, once I start smelling it, I don't want that to brown, but I do want it to flavor my oil. And then from there, we'll go to our next step. <laughs> so let me get this done, and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. 
My uh, garlic's been in my olive oil for about two minutes. Low heat, notice it's not brown, all right? But it smells great, does it smell good? Mm. All right, that was fantastic. All right, now, from this point, guys, I'm gonna throw in my Chardonnay that I didn't have to buy. Anyway, I'm gonna throw this Chardonnay <laughs> in here. And uh, once I get the Chardonnay in, get back, because it might be kind of popping around a little bit. I'm gonna throw in like maybe two cups or so. Guys, ooh, y'all smell that? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, now, I'm gonna leave that as is. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper, which I didn't put on the list. Here's my salt. Here's my pepper. All right, a couple cracks of uh, fresh cracked black pepper. It's not too much. And a pinch of salt, not too much. Okay, now guys, I'm gonna turn the temperature up on this and I'm gonna let it reduce by half, okay? Once again, garlic, which flavored my olive oil. All right, let it cook for about two minutes. And I threw in a couple cups of uh, uh, Chardonnay, whatever white wine you want, Pinot Grigio or whatever. And I'm gonna let that reduce by half. Once it reduces by half, I'll be right back. And we'll talk about the next step. All right, we're back. I reduced my wine mix. Look at that. By about half. This has been going for about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Reduce my wine now. Okay. Now all I gotta do is cook my shrimp, guys. These shrimp are clean, D vein, still got the shells on. Let me talk about this real quick. I still got a little reduction to go. Some people cook these completely naked. Shells off, tails off, pow. That's great if you want to spoon it over rice or spoon it over pasta or something like that. We just want to, we just want to eat. But when you make a stock, guys, you use bones, okay? Like make a beef stock, use beef bones. You use a chicken stock, use chicken bones. The bones for a shrimp, lobster, and those type of animals are the exoskeleton, the outside. So I'm not gonna take my skins off. I'm not gonna take the shells off because that's flavor, all right? But once again, it's your technique. If you wanna take them off, take them off. I ain't. All right, guys, I got two pounds of shrimp. I'm just gonna put them in there just like this. Shells and all. Pretty much one layer, well, a little bit more than one layer. And these are gonna cook very, very fast, guys. All they gotta do is turn to be pink. Once they turn pink, they're good to go. All right, so let me cook these up. I'll show them to you once they're cooked, and then uh, we're going to the next step. All right, America, look at that shrimp. Look at that, almost done. I need to finish this up quickly. It's only been a couple minutes, literally, guys, all right? I'm gonna throw in a half a stick of butter. No, I ain't say shit about being, just, did I cuss? <laughs> I didn't say anything about being healthy. I'm throwing in a half a stick of butter to thicken my sauce. I'll get back to that in a second. Wipe off the hand. And I'm gonna use a lemon and a half, maybe, uh, maybe a lemon, let me see how it looks, of uh, lemon juice, lemon's worth of lemon juice. All right, squeeze. No seeds, squeeze, no seeds, squeeze, no seeds, squeeze, no seeds, that's half a lemon, let's try another half, alright, squeeze, no seeds, Okay, maybe once you get that drop. Squeeze, I'll get that out. There he is, I still see him. Squeeze. Okay, two seeds. All right, give that a stir. But, oh shit, I don't know if I stir, I'm getting my seed in. <laughs> no seeds. All right, let me get this incorporated, guys. My oil, my butter's gonna thicken my sauce, add flavor, and we're almost done. Let me finish this up, guys, and I'll put it back. We're back. Sauce is done on my shrimp scampi. Take a look at that. All right, a little bit thinner than I wanted, but that's okay, because my pasta's gonna make up for the rest of it. Pasta's done, perfectly al dente, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm And it's going in. All right, you shut up. I've already turned the fire off on my uh, campy. I've also just threw a bunch of food on my stove. But that's okay. I'll get that later. I'll get that now. Don't tell nobody in there, I saw that shit. Anyway. <laughs> Stop messing. Huh? Stop messing. I don't cut, damn it, complain. Anyway, <laughs> going to America. 
gonna get the rest of this out of here while my daughter freaking beat me down. And I'll be right back and I'll show you the presentation. All right guys, pasta's in, just like that. I'm gonna throw in half my parsley. I'm gonna use some of it for garnish, just like that. A little bit more than half. Give this a stir. And this is, like they say in Paul. Jenga. That's Jenga. All right, let me get this a turn, guys. And this is finished. My daughter said, <laughs> Daddy, when you spill stuff, at least they know you're human. <laughs> Whatever. Let me get this a turn, y'all. I'm going to show it to you plated. And I'm going to show it to you with garnish. And uh, that will be finished. That'll be Jenga. Hi right, America, that's it. Beginning to end. Very, very easy, very fast recipe, guys. Now, my taste tester is gonna be my oldest daughter, Jessica. The one that can be mad is hell! <laughs> you ready? Bye! This is me. I'm mad as hell. <laughs> no, you ain't. Thanks to baby. Tell me if it's good. She is mad as hell. <laughs> Don't forget the skin's on. Say it, say it, say it, say it. I got time for that. That's good. <laughs> I ain't mad no more. You can call me whatever you want to now. <laughs> she, she ain't mad no more. I ain't mad no more. Hey, hey y'all, it's a very simple recipe, shrimp scampi. All scampi is, is the sauce. And that's pretty much the best part of the meal, y'all, all right? Once again, like I always say, guys, find yourself a recipe, do the math, figure it out, cook yourself something good to eat. Booyah!